Hello, my name is Lynn Battle Green, and I am the facility supervisor here at the Morton Theater. The Morton Theater was built in 1910 by Monroe Bowers Morton, or Pink Morton as he was better known. At the time, uh, it was the largest building built by a colored man in all the world. We are the oldest surviving vaudeville theater uniquely built, owned, and operated by an African American in the United States. On West Washington and Hull Streets, which became known as Hot Corner, because of course the Morton sits here, and with performers inside and without modern heating and air, windows were up and the music inside spilled out onto the street. So the Hot Corner was a hip happening place to be, it really was. Between the Morton Building, uh, the Old Samaritan Building, the Union Building, and of course the businesses that uh, are across the street, that made up the center of all African-American life, not just here in Athens, but throughout the region. No matter what you needed, you could get it on the hot corner. Now, the Morton Building, of course, was more than just the Morton Theater. There were doctor's offices, dentist offices, insurance companies, barber shops, beauty shops, a pool hall, not one but two funeral homes, and all of those under one roof where the main stage event was, of course, the Morton Theater. Now, the Morton Building was a great building for commerce, for entertainment, and just social gathering. Eventually, through the years, though, it became a burlesque house for a bit, once vaudeville fell out of style, eventually turning over into a single-room movie house. Uh, 1930s to the 1950s, it served in that capacity until in 1954, a fire started back in the projection booth. At that point, a fire marshal came in, the first time he'd ever been in. All 700 seats only had one door in and one door out, so the doors to the theater were closed for the next 40 years. All the other spaces in the building continued to operate and were leased out by the family that owned the building. Now, in the late 70s, young students from some of the businesses that occupied other spaces started to make their way up into this space, realizing there's a theater up there, and they began rehearsing and really trying to take care of what had become the biggest pigeon house in all of Athens. At that point, citizens became aware of this building and decided it needed to be saved. So, through grassroots efforts, vaudeville shows, and a lot of fundraising, as well as a grant, they were able to buy the building and actually save it from the wrecking ball. They put a new roof on it, threw a few more fundraisers, and then what? Well, luckily, the citizens of athens Clark County agreed that the building needed to be saved, and through their efforts supporting the Morton, uh, they were able to raise the $1.8 million needed to renovate the space through the special projects, local option sales tax. Of course, the catch with that is you have to be an athens Clark County facility in order to receive the funds. So the nonprofit Morton Theater Corporation handed over the building to athens Clark County, and today, the Morton Theater is a community performing arts center. Uh, but we're not limited to just arts and shows and music. We can also do social functions and corporate functions. It is a wonderful place where people can come together and really put on shows that not only benefit themselves, but 90% of our renters are nonprofit organizations. And they use the funds that they produce here to go out and put their own visions and missions. So we're not just part of entertainment, we're, we're part of the fabric of the Athens-Clark County.